Levi Whitney here with Uphill Cinema. Today we're gonna do a lighting breakdown of how I lit and shot this commercial I did. And so we'll just dive right into it. But to dive right into this, I'm gonna show you the clip first, and then I'll show you um, how we lit this clip. I know that's super brief, but let's just break these down into three shots and then we'll uh, dive right into it. Okay, so let's start this off here. So we, um, to back up a little bit, we had done a location scout, so we knew this location would work and we knew our camera package and our lighting package and what we needed. So. With that said, we came down these stairs. This was a basement and we turned off all the lights and we had some light coming in from the sun, from these windows. Um, with that said, the sun wasn't over here. It was more directly above us. And so um, we knew we'd probably have to shine some light through there. Um, we also did not have our actor with us all day, so we did a lot of stand-ins. And so here's our actor right here. Um, we knew we wanted him. Um, oh, sorry about that. We knew we wanted him in this general area. So that's what we did. We put him here, and that's it, where the actor actually ended up going. And so from there we said, okay, we know we want the camera angle um, over here. And we knew we wanted a parallax, so we got, um, ooh, sorry about that. Um, oh, I keep getting this here. We knew we wanted a parallax, and so we set up the dolly and the track and the camera um, over here. We knew we were going to go this direction and kind of do this parallax move with the actor and he was a, 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 a timekeeper he fixed watches and so we knew that so we set that up and we knew we wanted a, a, a backlight here kind of looking like it's maybe morning or you know dawn or dusk and so we got this big airy this m18 and we actually did shine it quite a bit a ways from the window. We set it up outside um, with a junior stand and um, when we came back it was a little too harsh. We didn't want a shaft of light, we just wanted some light going in. So we grabbed this silk and we threw it right up in front and uh, it ended up being very very soft and then we actually turned down the blind here and um, it actually ended up being even softer and it actually looked very nice. We, we liked the way it turned out. Now we had these big stairs coming through. Um, sorry about this little typo there, I didn't even notice that. Um, we, um, like I said, we knew um, these stairs were gonna be a problem and so with these lights coming through and also with this airy, this M18 coming through, this, this is a 10K, um, there was a lot of bounce and so we wanted to control that light so we grabbed a lot of these flags and we started just flagging everything off because we also didn't want um, this background to be evenly exposed with his face. We wanted it to be um, a couple stops uh, under his face and so um, it ended up doing that once we threw these flags up and so the other thing is is this window right here was causing too much light too and this one was a little darker so um, because it was in a deeper window well but we did flag this off as well now we threw a lamp up here this lamp was about 2900k um, give or take and we wanted this to be a motivated light this lamp was teeny it was literally like a 10 like a 20 watt um 20 watts 
um, just a just a very very non-powerful bulb so we brought in a 1k a mole richards 1k and we bounced it and off of uh, some um, beadboard and bounce this back off on and then this this uh, this 1k light here we actually had to gel it too with the CTO and so uh, this was daylight and so um, this was the shot it was it was pretty easy we um, the only thing we added more after this was some haze and uh, we haze it up the area quite a bit did this shot and then for the other two shots we didn't change any of the lighting the only thing we did was increased the power of the uh, 1k right here and ended up uh, turning out pretty good and I like the way it looked nice and soft and uh, kind of a cool look so hopefully that helps thanks for watching I really do appreciate it hopefully it's informative and helps you kind of visualize how you'd want to set up a more narrative commercial type shot um, or your project and uh, I appreciate all your support don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments leave them below reach out to me I'm always uh, answering I, I literally will answer every question uh, fastest way to get a hold of me is through Instagram so don't forget to uh, follow me there and uh, I, I'm trying to do a lot better at uh, doing stories and posting on a regular basis so uh, Thanks again, I appreciate everything. This is Levi Whitney with uh, Uphill Cinema, and stay tuned for next week with more gear reviews, tips and tricks, and film theory. Thanks, bye. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!